Apple just released iOS 16.5 Beta 3 for registered developers and soon for public beta testers. And along with this release, Apple also dropped the third beta for iPadOS 16.5, macOS 13.4, watchOS 9.5, tvOS 16.5, and HomePod version 16.5. Now, as far as the size goes, you can see this update came in at just under 620 megabytes on my 14 Pro Max. Pretty large update actually for a third beta and if we go and check out the build number for this release general about we can see that the new build number is 20f 5050f i find it pretty interesting that we still have an f at the end of the build number after the third beta i was expecting closer to a maybe like a d or a c at the end of the build number so it's quite interesting to see an f at the end we'll talk about what that could mean near the end of this video but if we go back we do also have a minor update to the modem firmware it was 1.70.01 .01. now it's 1.70.02 for my 14 pro max here of course that number will be different based on your model all right so now what's new here in 16.5 beta 3 and as you guys know this update is very minor you're not expecting many changes, many features, really anything in this update. It is a very minor iterative update kind of to bridge the gap from 16 to iOS 17 beta. So don't expect anything crazy from here on out. I've said that since beta one, but if we go into the news application, we do of course have the new sports tab that was there in beta one, but up in the top left, you can see that we have a minor change to the navigation little tab up here. So before it was just the three lines and now it shows all sports. That's what it looked like on previous betas. And here's what it looks like in beta three. So we do have a minor change right there but nothing else seems to have changed inside of the sports application or the sports section of the news application i still find it to be pretty much just a plug for apple tv because you can't really do anything in here you don't get any box scores or really anything at all and then something else i noticed that i don't think i even talked about in beta one or two is that the following tab down there in the bottom right is actually the following and search tabs combined so i may have mentioned this in a follow-up video but i never mentioned it in a what's new video Video. So you'll see now that we have a change where following and search is now just one unified tab that says following with a little search tab in the middle. And when you go to that, it combines it as well. So you can see before search was just a blank search and following was what we see here. Now they're just into one. Now also in my previous 16.5 beta two video, I mentioned how you're able to install software updates with less than 50% battery remaining, but I never tested it out myself and that I would next week. Well, now it is the future it is beta 3 and i tested this and you can see that i have 25 percent battery remaining and i am able to install it is not grayed out like it used to be before so before you had to have you know you had to either be over 20 percent and plugged in or just be over 50 percent if you're not plugged in but now you don't have to be plugged into a charger and you could have anywhere between 20 and 50 percent battery remaining to install or of course higher than 50 percent of course but that is a new feature here in 16.5 and then do you guys remember how screen recording via siri was like a big feature in beta one it's kind of just a big feature because this update is so boring in general but in beta one there is a feature where you could enable screen recording from your voice like through siri but that has not worked since beta one it didn't work on beta two and now in beta three it still does not work for whatever reason record my screen you can see sorry i can't help you with that and sometimes it will give you like web results of screen recording software so for whatever reason that has been removed after beta one something else that you guys always comment and message me about is the select all inside of safari and unfortunately that is still not back i'm checking every single time a software update comes out just in hopes to see the select all come back but you are no longer able to select all on a web page and then the bug for the notification center is also still here so you can see when i swipe up we will have a little bit of a lag so you can see right Right there when it's loading up the tabs below the main one right there we have that lag that has been there since 16.4 and that is still remaining here in 16.5 in the apple savings account which just launched last week after a long delay i have this new little pop-up here that says your apy is 4.15 percent so i didn't get that on my main device when i first opened this account for some reason but i have that now on my 14 pro max and it's not my first time opening up this account on this phone either but i just received that and then for apple pay later it appears that apple is 
still kind of just selecting users to you know push this out to it's not fully available to the public just yet as you can see in my wallet app it is not showing up but it will show up right here when you do have access to apple pay later now if we take a look at the release notes we can see that pretty much nothing has changed since beta 2. so we still have that new feature for home where it says a shared administrator in a home is now able to pair and add matter accessories and then we have four resolved issues that are also related to matter accessories you can see those on the screen right now i'm not going to read off each one of them as far as the performance and battery life i'm running a quick geekbench 6 test here on this third beta just to see how it compares to beta 2 and beta 1 but as far as my overall first impressions after installing the update it feels pretty much the same i haven't really noticed any difference now you will see that i am on a low battery percentage so that could impact the score but we'll see so we scored a 2508 on the single core and a 6168 on the multi-core and those scores are both lower than what we saw on beta 2. now that could be a byproduct of the battery percentage but i don't think so my battery was actually just slightly higher than this on beta 2. so according to geekbench scores the performance has decreased but again my first impressions feel about the same as i did in beta 2. i have not really noticed any type of hiccups or really anything abnormal in terms of performance and then for battery life it also feels about the same as it did in beta 2. not really much to report here now you guys might find it boring or you might say you know why don't you talk more about battery life but it's because nothing has changed like i don't want to waste your guys time and just show you charts and just tell you about you know battery life and compare charts when they're identical so i don't like to really you know harp on battery life unless there's a big bug going around or a big you know noticeable difference in battery life but day-to-day -day usage you're not going to notice any type of change in battery life whether you're on beta 1 beta 2 or even 16.4.1 honestly you're not going to really notice a change in terms of battery life going to 16.5 beta 3 now maybe with the final that'll change but i honestly cannot see a big change coming even in the final release i think we're pretty much near peak ios 16 battery life at this point i'm not saying we're at the peak but we're pretty close to it and again i'm recording these videos just hours after the software gets released and that's why i do my follow-up reviews later on in the week so if anything is you know major that needs to be addressed in terms of battery life i will cover it in those videos but this is mainly just my kind of first impressions of the software when i do these what's new videos at least for the betas anyways let's move on to what is coming next from apple so today is april 25th so so next up is most likely going to be 16.5 beta 4. Now, I thought that next week could be the RC, but when I saw the build number for this third beta and the fact that it ends with an F, that tells me that RC is not coming next. Now, it's always possible, but usually we're closer to A before the RC. So I'm expecting a beta 4 to come next week, the week of May 1st. And then after that, I would expect, you know, that version to have like uh, maybe an a b or c or maybe d at the end of the build number and then after that we should see the rc on the week of the 8th and then potentially the final on the week of the 15th of course nothing has been confirmed apple does not tell us in advance when a software update is coming unless there's like a major feature coming in it but that is just my guess at the time of recording this video now as far as ios 16.6 we should see the first beta start for that pretty much right after 16.5 gets released to the public so it could be as early as that same week or possibly the next week and then we're probably not going to see a 16.6 final release until july because in between those two we have june 5th which is the worldwide developers conference which is also the day that we get to see ios 17 beta 1. so yeah that's ios 16.5 beta 3. not a ton going on but again i wouldn't expect a ton to go on for the rest of ios 16 in general like we might get some minor features you know but i would not expect anything major to come in ios 16 from here on out i think anything major is most likely going to be in the ios 17 betas and be saved for ios 17 coming later this fall but nonetheless if you enjoyed this video i would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future ios 16 and especially ios 17 videos but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon